हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंडियन स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज मोटिवेटेड फ्रॉम वर्टिकल सर्कुलर मोशन एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट इज रोलिंग इनसाइड एन एलिप्टिकल ट्रैक लेट्स सी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम it is given a solid sphere of mass m and radius r is projected inside a fixed elliptical track from its lowermost point as shown what should be the minimum projection speed at the lowest point so that the sphere will complete the elliptical track there is no slipping between the sphere and the track assume radius of the sphere is negligible compared to the other dimensions of the ellipse so here as you can see this elliptical track is given which is uh, fixed and there is a small sphere small ball which is placed at the bottom of this uh, ellipse and it is in the form of solid sphere its mass is m radius is r and it is projected with the velocity of v not the equation of ellipse also is given and that is x square plus uh, x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 so a standard equation of ellipse is given so before we discuss this uh, question i can tell you that this is multi concept uh, question and it is uh, motivated from that vertical circular motion uh, uh, problem which is standard where a particle will be completing Uh, circular path right so one part is energy conservation here here there is a small modification in this problem and that is there is no slipping between the sphere and the track which means that this sphere is in pure rolling while moving around in this elliptical track okay so let's uh, discuss this uh, problem the maximum tendency of losing contact will be at this top most point if particle doesn't leave contact at point c then it is going to complete this uh, elliptical path so we have to choose a velocity v not in such a way that this particle can just reach point c after that again it will come in contact with the circle uh, this elliptical track again so if we draw the free body diagram at the topmost point the normal reaction by the track and the weight mg and uh, here let's say speed of this particle at this instant is v1 so we can say that nc plus mg this is the net centripetal force which is present at this point and that is equal to mass into acceleration at uh, point c for this ball will be speed square divided by rc where c uh, rc is the radius of curvature of uh, uh, ellipse at topmost point which can be calculated by using the equation of ellipse and this equation is given as rc is equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square to the power 3 by 2 divided by d2y by dx square so if we use this if we use this relation of radius of curvature by using uh, equation of curve we are going to get we are going to get radius of curvature uh, at c as a square by b and radius of curvature at uh, b as b square by a Uh, these are uh, standard result i'll uh, suggest students to remember this result so that you can avoid this much calculation while solving as this is more flat surface so you can uh, easily remember this that here there is going to be a square by b and this radius of curvature is going to be b square by a okay let's uh, move to the next part of it if the projection velocity at bottom most point is minimum 
so we can say after uh, reaching the topmost point of the ellipse the speed also is going to be minimum that means v1 is going to be minimum so from here pre uh, by using previous equation we can say if this v1 is minimum and mg is fixed nc should be minimum now this nc value its minimum value has to be zero so if you put this nc equal to zero here we are going to get v1 is equal to root of rc into g where rc is a square by b now on applying energy conservation between uh, lowermost point and the topmost point so we can say total mechanical energy is conserved now potential if i take potential energy reference at lowermost point its uh, potential energy i can take as zero so kinetic energy at top uh, at the bottom most point i can take it as uh, sum of uh, translational kinetic energy plus uh, rotational kinetic energy so i can write it as because both uh, translational velocity as well as rotational velocity is present angular velocity is present at uh, bottom most point as well as at the top most point therefore total kinetic energy of uh, uh, this ball at lower most point it can be written as half mv square plus half i omega square similarly i can write the kinetic energy at top most point plus potential energy due to gravity now on uh, simplifying uh, this this expression will be reducing to 7 mv not uh, square by 10 is equal to 7 by 10 mv1 square plus 2 mgp now we can substitute this uh, value of v1 which we have obtained in the previous uh, equation so on substituting this value we are going to get this v not minimum which is the minimum velocity at lowermost point and that value is g times g times 7a square plus 20b square divided by 7b this is going to be the answer for this problem i hope you have enjoyed this problem if you have uh, liked this video please subscribe my channel and share it with others thank you